Hi everyone, it's Carolyn from True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings. And I had a subscriber that sent me a link to a very interesting article and then I did some further research and did some further reading. And I wanted to tell you about this because I think it's uh, moving us in a positive direction of prosecuting and holding trolls that try to defame people accountable. So Stephen Nolan, a BBC TV and radio host, had a settlement where a Twitter troll had to pay them a six figure sum and an apology. So let's take a look at what's going on. And the reason for this was that this Twitter troll under two different accounts was running a defamatory campaign to undermine this radio and TV host and stop his message, credibility, all of that stuff. So let's take a look at what's going on. For those of us who have been harassed, lied about, and trolled, this news brings us some promise that more trolls will be prosecuted and have to answer for their harassment on more platforms. And I can tell you as someone that has been trolled, harassed, defamed for over two years, this is really promising. Plus, now my deceased son is their subject to run a slander and defamatory campaign against. And that is just going to bring out this mama bear like they've never seen it. And, you know, I will do anything to bring them to justice and to stop lying about my son. But let's go back to this. Stephen Nolan, a BBC radio and TV host, was able to get the identity that was behind two troll Twitter accounts. And these accounts were running a systematic campaign where they were putting out false information with the intention to defame Stephen Nolan. The Twitter account names were Pastor Jim Baru and Pastor Jim Baru's Ghost. Beyond the Twitter harassment and defaming, they also created an online petition against Mr. Stephen Nolan. Stephen Nolan says that this settlement would serve as a warning to all trolls. Stephen Nolan's lawyer said that he has agreed not to reveal the troll's identity, but it is dependent on his future conduct. So if they start up again or whatever, you know, that is to be thrown out. In a settlement issued by the individual's lawyer, the person or persons behind these Twitter accounts admitted that the claims that they made were totally unsubstantiated and without foundation. The individual behind this was running a campaign which involved the systematic dissemination of false and defamatory allegations against Mr. Noland. Along with the settlement came an apology from this person that stated, I unreservedly apologize to Mr. Noland for any distress caused and confirm that the aforesaid Twitter accounts have since been deleted. That was released by the Belfast-based lawyer, Kevin Winter. Mr. Stephen Nolan, who presents shows on BBC Radio, Ulster and BBC Radio 5 Live, said the individual had been running, and I quote now, a malicious campaign designed to undermine me and hinder my journalism. I am deeply grateful to the BBC, who will always judge me fairly on its editorial standards rather than the lies this individual attempted to propagate. 
Stephen Nolan said that he would no longer tolerate the vile abuse aimed at him, as well as other journalists, politicians, public figures, and private citizens. That is great to know. So this individual has agreed to pay a six-figure sum in damages, as well as all of Mr. Nolan's legal costs. The libel attorney, Paul Tweed, who's representing Mr. Nolan, said the troll had been traced and notice of the legal action had been served to him in person. Mr. Tweed said, and I quote, there was immediate contrition and categoric statements of regret with the individual pleading for anonymity due to his expressed personal security concerns. Despite this attempt to destroy his reputation with falsehoods, Mr. Nolan has agreed not to name this individual dependent on his future conduct. And Mr. Tweed said that legal letters had also been issued to other people and action would be taken against those who publish or spread similar false allegations about Mr. Nolan. That's great news as well. Okay, so let's go on about what um, Stephen Nolan acknowledges that he had great legal counsel and a lot of support saying, and I quote, I was fortunate to have the personal resources to track this individual down and to pursue him with internationally renowned libel lawyer, Paul Tweed. Not everybody has such support, but this should be a warning to all trolls who will be tracked down. And then again, let me just reiterate that the anonymity of this person behind these accounts is only kept dependent on his future conduct. So this is great news and hopefully a warning to a lot of trolls, but on YouTube, we know the identities of people that are doing this, people that are lying about individuals, lying badly, hurting their business, okay? In a financial way, a way that can be easily shown the damages and damaging people's reputations and reputations of their family, even deceased individuals of their family, and it should not be tolerated. And I think this is a huge step forward and there are other actions that can be taken to throw this out there, make it known and just stop this wild west that's going on here where people think that freedom of speech allows them freedom to defame and deceive others with falsehoods and it's, it's wrong. It's rooting the reputation of good people. It's ruining the reputation of people that have passed. It's ruining the reputations of families. It's just, it's horrid that this is allowed. This is just insane bullying with the lowest, I just have to say the lowest of the low doing this. And they've got to be held accountable and I see that moving in this direction, and this is just one small victory, but it's only the beginning. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.